Welcome, welcome. So I want to show you how you can ethically steal your competitor's traffic for your own benefit. In other words, take their traffic, take the keywords and the content their site ranks for and emulate their content in a way that satisfies the search intent of the keywords people who are finding said content search for. In other words, you're basically producing the same content they're producing that's proven to work, that's proven to drive traffic to it, and you're taking it for yourself, right? Of course, tailoring it and optimizing it for your own brand so that this set content can also rank for these keywords that are pulling in a bunch of traffic onto their site to yours. I know this sounds complicated, but it's super easy. So let me just break this down exactly step by step and how you can get started with it literally just after watching this video. So let's break it down. Hey, what's up guys? So today I want to show you a little secret and sneaky SEO strategy that will allow you to get a little bit of extra traffic coming into your site every single month and hopefully a couple extra sales. So let me go over what this is. I'm using these guys as an example. They're a gardening supplies brand. So they have this website that talks about gardening supplies, right? And then they have their shop that, again, they sell you a bunch of like gloves and stuff and seeds to do your gardening. That's pretty, pretty much it, a gardening supplies brand, okay? So here's what this strategy entails. I know a lot of you don't have Ahrefs. Uh, I really suggest you get it because the data Ahrefs gives you is insanely valuable. That said, I mean, I'm sure there's other free tools out there that give you this data as well. So what we do here, and Every single strategy starts with looking at the competition. Let's assume we have a brand, right? Me and you have a brand that's a competitor of these guys right here. And so we want to see what content is Google ranking and why is it ranking said content? For example, let's see here, uh, I don't know, this page called um, slash best soils. This page is a page where they talk about uh, testing popular potting that mixes our, sur our surprising results. And so surely here they talk about bunch of these things. They do a review of all these pots or these uh, soils, right? And surely at the end, they recommend a couple of their products. Now, they put a bunch of ads in the articles, which I, I think like are, is not really good for user experience, which surely, I mean, they get a ton of traffic, but they would, I think they would make more money if they just, instead of having these ads right here, have ads to your own products. It makes much more sense to me, but surely there should be a reasoning behind why they're doing this. And so again, if you just scroll down, eventually it'll promote their products and have links to their uh, Shopify store where they sell uh, the products. So this is a great article, right? They are getting traffic, right? The article is ranking for almost 400 keywords, right? It's getting almost 3,000 in monthly, monthly organic search traffic. And by the way, the keywords it ranks for are somewhat bottom of the funnel, meaning someone searching for best potting soil, well, most likely they're looking to acquire or buy a, some sort of potting soil, okay? Uh, best potting soil for vegetables, so this is great because w as in bottom of the funnel keywords, you want to be as specific as possible. So they have product for modifier, so for vegetables, for, um, I don't know nothing about the gardening niche, but you get my point, right? So for vegetables, for maybe you can do for carrots, for fruits, for, you know, um, so that's, that's a point. So Product plus, excuse me, a modifier. And still, this has 1,500 monthly, monthly organic search volume. People, 1,500 people search for this every single month, and they're capturing a third of it, okay? That's pretty cool. Again, super bottom of the funnel keyword. Uh, best potting mix, you can even do best potting mix for, boom, modifier. So these, most of these are, um, oh, there you go, most of these are bottom of the funnel keywords, meaning the traffic that's coming in most likely is converting into sales. And so, and by the way, in this video right here, that I'll put here on the screen, I'll show you that traffic is a vanity metric. We're, we're getting a, sh a bunch of traffic to this page on our site, but nobody's buying. And this right here is the exact opposite. All this traffic that came in, that's coming in, I would assume a lot of it is actually buying because again, this page ranks for a bunch of bottom of the funnel keywords. And so after doing this analysis, what would I do as a business owner? Well, I would take this, right? And I, I, would, want to, I would want to produce a similar piece of content, right? Because I know Google is valuing these types of articles, right? And it's showing them for people who are searching for all of these keywords right here. So this type of content that they built on this page is satisfying the search intent for people searching for these keywords, does of course it's ranking and making the money. So here's what I'll do. I'll go into Arvo, I'll click AI SEO editor, I'll click start from link, and this will just add this link right here. And then I'll create draft. Now, what this will do is essentially try more or less, not more or less, but literally copy one to one the article that's, that we just read. But now, the cool thing about this, by the way, with the images and all this stuff right here, the cool thing about this is we can use the AI assistant to tailor this to our brand. Here's what I mean. Let's assume this is my brand right here. I don't know, I don't know who these guys are, but let's assume this is my, this is my brand. So what I do, I'd go here and say, okay, now, 
I actually have the prompt right here, so I just do this. I want you to write this article as if it was written by me, the founder of this brand, right? Don't mention anything that can tie this back to Epic Gardening, i.e. the founder's names, products, etc. Boom. And so what I'm doing right here is I'm speaking back and forth with the AI to change things in the article. So it says, okay, I can help with that. I'll rewrite the article to reflect the perspective of the founders of Gardener's Edge, which is, again, this brand right here, which is my brand, assume, right? Um, removing any references to Epic Gardening or this personal, personnel and their products. And so now what I'm doing is I'm taking a proven concept that I know it works because this article right here works, it's ranking, it's ringing traffic, it's relevant for all these bottom of the funnel keywords, which I also have products on, I also want to get capture this traffic, and I'm writing my version of it. Now, again, the goal here is not to just steal content, I, I wouldn't ever tell you to do this, is to steal the intent that the search, the people searching for this, for this keywords, the, in, the search intent that led them to have this content be shown to them, right? We take that content and improve it, not only, of course, tailor it to our brand, but then improve upon it, right? You want to always be adding stuff. And so, but more on that later on. Again, as you see here, it took all the mentions from, previously was, we decided to, make, to take matters into our own hands at Epic Gardening Homestead, Epic Gardening founder Kevin, whatever. So you remove all this stuff and it added just this, okay? So in, multiple, in 29 instances, I can keep scrolling down right here and you will see like, even the product names, this, this product called Epic Grove Bags, we remove the name of the product and add our own product. So again, remove the founder names, remove the product, remove every single thing. And so, boom, accept. Now everything was changed. It's pretty cool, right? Again, now I want to make sure that we add more info to this. We, just want, we don't just want to be stealing info, of course. Now, as of today, as of uh, this day right here when this video is uploaded, you can't yet tell it to improve your article based on the competition. So in, in the future, you'll be able to feed it all of your competitors automatically. We'll, we'll scan through the competitors for you, right? We'll be able to see, okay, out of all these competitors, which ones of them, which, which of them are producing content like the one you have here on screen, right? And what do they talk about? Okay, they talk about topic A, B, C, D, but they don't, don't talk about topic F or G. So now we know that our competitors talk about all this stuff, so we'll talk about all this stuff. In other words, our article will contain all, all this stuff, plus these right here and these right here that they don't talk about that people are also searching for, and so we'll add these into our article to make sure that we have the best piece of content that satisfies as much of the people's needs as possible. Hopefully this made sense. But as of now, it doesn't do that just yet. Still, you can sort of do it manually, okay? Um, as in saying, now add a paragraph titled, what's the best soil for my garden? Where you talk about the different types of gardens there are, and at the end, you recommend the soil 9000 by my own brand. So again, it makes it useless to use ChatGPT because you can go back and forth right here, and this has all the, all the context of your brand. You can say to add links, add a link to Wikipedia, add a link to this page, add a link to that page, add an image here, add a video there, right? And by the way, speaking of video, I can just go on, on, on YouTube, or I can just take this video, for example, just take the URL, and boom, there you go, the video's there. So again, let, let, me, let me give it a second for it to think and, and do all this stuff and, and, and add the paragraph and do the changes. So small little issue here, uh, as I added the video in, uh, it broke the system. Again, this is still in beta, so quick tip, don't add videos while it's thinking. So let me just give it the same prompt again. Now add a paragraph titled, whatever, again. It, it, even though it, it, uh, I had to refresh this, it still had into account my old previous prompt, so there's no mentions about the other brand, it's only mentioning my brand, etc. So I just not touch anything and wait for it to think to add this new paragraph and that recommends my, my product. So let's give you a few seconds. While that's going on, we built this AI assistant in tandem with these uh, in article editing. So you can add links right here, you can sprinkle in your keywords, you can rewrite this, make it longer, make it shorter, make a list, make a table, you can add custom prompts, but more on that later on. Okay, I've added this. Let's see, where is it? Boom, there you go. What's the best garden soil for my garden? And choosing the best soil, whatever, blah, blah, blah. And yeah, we recommend, boom, perfect, accept. Okay, now what I want you to do is to, okay, now link the, the anchor to soilgardener9000.com. I don't know, right? You, again, you can 
add the links. You can do all this stuff like within the, the AI assistant. The goal of this AI assistant is to be literally your assistant into adding this stuff. Now, it might be faster just to go here and add the link manually, but if you want to add multiple links or if you want to add more complex stuff, using the assistant might, might be a better option. Okay, that's pretty cool. So that's that. Again, the point here is that you can speak with the article and change things around. You can also change the images. You can, anything you want, you can change. And in terms of SEO, the good thing about this is that you're taking a proven concept, right? You're taking a proven concept of content, of information that Google, right, finds relevant for people searching for these keywords. So people search for these keywords where, and, and Google thinks this is the content that best satisfies the search intent of people searching for these keywords. All these people are searching for these keywords, and Google thinks, okay, this is the best content, content excuse me, that satisfies their search intent. And so what we're doing simply is because we're a competitor, we are trying to replicate and give and give our, uh, excuse me, and put on our own site a similar piece of content that can also satisfy all these keywords, right? All the intent of these keywords. And so what's the best way to do that? Well, again, it's to look at what Google is already ranking and valuing for this and providing the same info in a different fashion, tailored to our brand, remove, um, prom promoting our own products, using our own images, and of course, adding more, uh, more on top. Again, you want to be producing better information that's what, than what's out there. In this case, again, I know nothing about gardening, but I feel like a, a, a call to action at the bottom, or maybe talking about multiple soils, could be, or gardening, could be a smart thing to do. Again, you, if you want, you want a brand like this, you know better than me. So, super short one, but I think it's super valuable, and oftentimes people like overcomplicate SEO. I honestly, honestly think one of the easiest like strategies of, S, of, S, strategies of SEO, excuse me, is just to look at what's working and emulate it in a better fashion. So yeah, give it a go. And by the way, if you want to try uh, Arvo, go to arvo.com. You can use the coupon code SECRET10 for 10% off. Um, or if you want to have an even better deal, you can go to arvo.com slash academy. And what this is, is it gives you a one year access to Arvo, like a full year access to Arvo, 12 months, plus access to the AI Search Academy, which includes a bunch of courses and training on how to properly do SEO and all these new strategies that I come up with every single week. So yeah. I'll leave links for this down below in the description. And last one, I guess, one final call to action. If you don't have time, right, if you just like, want me to do your SEO for you, you can go to arvo.com slash call. I'll leave a link down below in the description. What this is, is basically we use Arvo, we use our tool for you, and we guarantee you get a 25% increase in non-branded search traffic over 180 days, or you don't pay. Actually, we can even cut this to 90 days. So we use the tool for you, and we guarantee you get 25% more traffic, or you don't pay. So there's a bunch of case studies right here. I'll just ask you to book a call down below with me just so I can understand like what your business is, what you sell, who are your competitors, and get a bit more, more nuanced to see if, it, if we can actually help you out with, with this. So this is a done-for-you service where we actually use your own account. This is if you don't have time. If you have time, I mean, just give it a go for yourself. Go to arvo.com, get a subscription and try it out, because, um, yeah, it just, it just works. Also, if you're, like, a bit skeptical, go here to uh, case studies. And we, we, I try and update these as much as often as I can. Go read these four ones right here, because it's insane the amount of money and traffic people are getting. With weird strategies, by the way, this, this right here, again, I urge you to read them all, but this right here, what this guy did was it took a bunch of YouTube videos in English, right, and he used Arvo to convert all of these videos into blog posts, right, but in French. So the same info that was in the videos, right, it converted to written form, but in French. Of course, giving, like, credit to the, the YouTubers, right, and he's crushing it in a French market. He's crushing it with bringing in traffic to his agency. So this is just to give you more of a, a, I guess, thinking space of what's capable or what's possible with these AI tools. But yeah, I'll leave links for all this down in the description. Thank you so much for watching. If you please do me a huge favor and comment the words AI SEO down below in the comments, that would be amazing. That would help me out in having this video be pushed out into the algorithm for more people. So if you can please comment the words AI SEO, that would be amazing. Or honestly, any questions you have, like any specific questions you have about your site, about your brand. If you want me to do an audit for your site, you can even comment the brand name. Just please comment something so that the algorithm knows to push this out to more people. Once again, thanks so much for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one. Cheers.